Oh, you don't have to have this visible. You can uh, place it here or even outside. Turn it out. And level complete. What is up guys, welcome to another video, my name is Sparkman, I'm a game developer and today we're going to create your very first game. The software we're gonna use is uh, Construct 3, yeah you can create games with the free version. There is a paid version but uh, today we're going to concentrate in creating our very first game. So let's go to a project, we're going to make this uh, 640 by 480, I'm gonna call this uh, my first game. Oops, optimize for pixel art and click on the create button there we go now this is a little too big let me make this um smaller 640 by 480 there we go so let's right click and let's insert our first object it's going to be a uh, sprite that is our sprite now this is going to be maybe um 120 by 60 there you go let me just fill this uh, with any color purple doesn't really matter I just need a box okay now if you run this you're gonna notice that nothing happens actually let me change the, uh, the screen click on project properties and then we're going to change this uh, to uh, scale outer. Try this again. And that looks much better. So now we want to be able to move this. Okay, so let's uh, give it a behavior. Click on behaviors. And uh, we're going to make this uh, eight directions. Now if you run this, you can see that uh, you can move in eight directions. And that's fine, but that's not what we want. We want to be able to move only back and forth, left to right. Okay. So, uh, let me change this uh, to left and right. That works fine. We can change the acceleration to maybe a thousand. So it will move uh, better. So let's clone this clone it this is sprite 2 now and uh, maybe call it something else Let's call it a uh, block or something okay we're gonna place these blocks uh, here I believe if you hold control you can make more of this we're gonna make uh, five of those there we go let's right click and let's insert another object another sprite there it is and uh, this is going to be a circle let me just crop this uh, image uh, it's a little too big let me just resize it hold shift for uh, constraint proportions and there is our ball now if you run this you're going to notice that uh, nothing happens except for um, you can move everybody <laughs> the reason is because these are clones of this here so let me just change the behavior go to behaviors and simply remove that try this again and now I can only move the stick now I'm gonna clone one of these uh, objects and uh, this is block 2 double click on it to give it a different color you don't have to that's just because I want to let's see bring this down and place another copy on the other side okay we're also going to place a copy on top here now notice this thing here check it out if I resize this it only resizes that one object even though they're from the same instance. Isn't that cool? There we go. 
So let me add a behavior to this. And uh, we're going to make this a solid object. Okay, now because this is now a solid object, when I run this, now I cannot leave the play area. Whoa, that's so cool. So easy. All right. Yeah, so let's make this object bounce out of behavior. Let's make this a, uh, a bullet. Okay, maybe uh, change the initial angle. You can enter that manually here if you wanted to. Run this. That works fine. Let me click on this here. Click on this checkbox here. This is a bounce of uh, solids. Okay, and these walls are solid. And check what happens. There you go. No programming. Now this here, we can also make it a um, solid object. Add behavior. Solid. And now we have two behaviors. Try it out. And you can see that we have a very basic game already. So let's make these as solid objects as well. Try it out. And that works fine. So now we're going to go to our event sheet. Okay, let's add a uh, collision between the ball. Collision with another object. And it's going to be... Uh, with the block okay so if we collide with the block we're simply going to destroy it let's go to the block destroy let's try it out and that works fine back to the event add a new event if the ball leaves the um, layout, we want to, um, maybe we can set up a pause. We're going to wait um, maybe two seconds. And then we're going to restart the game. There we go. Restart layout. Try it out. Just let the ball leave the play area. And then it restarts. Maybe we should ignore the control too. Let's see. Ignore the control for sprite 1. Here we go. Ignore input. Try it out. Wait a second. It's not ignoring the input. I think it should ignore the input first. There we go. That's much better. I think we're doing pretty good. All right. Yeah, so but how do you win the game? So let me insert another object. This time we're going to insert a uh, progress bar. We have to place that uh, somewhere here. And uh, we're going to make this uh, from 0 to 5. Actually from 5. 5 to 5. Okay. Try it out. There is our progress bar, very fancy. So every time we hit one of these um, blocks, we want to uh, subtract one from this uh, progress bar. Set progress. I'm gonna go find expression. See progress bar. Make this a uh, bigger. Uh, current progress. Okay, so we're gonna go minus one. Try it out. See if I can win this. I think I need to make this faster. Uh, it's kind of hard to uh, catch the ball. Uh, maximum speed is going to be 400. Try it out. And that's much better. And now we have no blocks left. Okay. Back to the event sheet. New event, so when the progress bar is uh, equal to zero, compared to progress, when the bar is equal to zero. So yeah, when this is zero, we can probably show some text. Let me just insert some text here. Where's my text? 
There we go. And uh, we're gonna make this uh, 40 for the font, font size. And the text is going to say uh, level complete. There we go. Maybe center the text. Now we don't want this to show at the beginning, so let's hide it. Let's create a new event. System, we're gonna use a start of layout or the start of the game. We're going to make the text, uh, the opacity, we're going to set it to zero. There it is. And whenever we win the game, we can set the opacity of the text to 100. We can also ignore the controller, ignore input. And we're also going to stop the ball. Set the speed of the, uh, the ball to zero. Set speed to zero. Try it out. Oops, I lost already. Yeah, level complete. Perfect. Okay, so now we can replace the, the graphics. Let me just insert my background. Now, let me show you where you get these graphics first. Alright, so we're gonna use these assets from um, Spartrite.com. So let's download it. Yeah, so let's begin with the ball. Double click on it. And uh, we're going to bring in our first graphic, which is the piggy. A bit small, make it bigger. Try it out. That works fine. Let's replace the blocks. For the blocks. I'm going to uh, hold control. And we can uh, make five copies. There we go. Double click on this. And uh, we're going to bring lip bar. There we go. So now we just need our background. I'm going to insert a uh, tile background. Browse the background. Place it. There we go. And send this to back. Now you don't have to have this visible. You can um, place it here or even outside. Try it out. And level complete. So there you go, there's your first game in Construct 3. Alright, so don't forget to check out uh, SparkTube, the place to uh, promote your videos. Every child could sing verses about the sky. Oh, this is cool. What is ancient it? codices held hints of other things. This is posted by Lame Zero. That's pretty cool. Alright, guys, uh, see you in the next video. Don't forget to uh, smack the like button and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, bye now. Ah, please don't melt them. We should have left when we had the chance. Yeah, I know. I know. Subscribe to what? What channel? What do you mean, like the video and subscribe? Now, Molten, you have really lost it. I should just kick you up there in the ocean.